Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to continue my discussion on the Kafka cluster architecture. Okay. So in my previous video, I have discussed this particular setup where there are multiple producers who are producing messages and uh, there are multiple consumers who are consuming the messages. Okay. And broker is basically sitting in the middle, which is basically receiving the messages from the producer which is taking the responsibility to store the incoming messages in a file in the hard drive okay basically inside brokers there are topics and topics are nothing but in log location we have seen that is nothing but a directory inside which messages are stored in append manner right and consumers are consuming the messages from that file system right so broker is basically hard in this particular architecture if the broker goes down Neither the producer can publish messages, neither the consumers can consume the messages. So to avoid that single point of failure in real world environment, whenever we are working in companies, instead of one Kafka server or one Kafka broker, there are cluster of servers or multiple brokers available in our Kafka cluster. Okay, so that if one broker goes down, other broker can take the responsibility for receiving the incoming messages from producer for storing them and give the messages to the consumer for consumption purpose okay obviously you can understand that suppose this is the broker where the producer are producing messages like if you recall our previous video when we started kafka server first we started zookeeper and after that we started our kafka server or broker and then whenever we are creating topic then here we are mentioning that what is the broker or the server okay when we are starting the producer we are mentioning what is the broker or server okay even in consumer we are mentioning what is the broker or the server where basically the consumer will consume right so suppose this producer is producing messages in this particular kafka broker what should happen to make the system fault tolerant and highly available from this broker the messages should be automatically replicated to other brokers so that if one broker goes down the other brokers can serve the requirement for uh, receiving the incoming messages from producer for saving them and for providing the messages to consumer right so obviously that replication is same like what we discussed in Hadoop and as you can see here cluster of servers are available so to manage all the servers and coordinate in between these different brokers obviously we are having zookeeper right so that is basically a common architecture what we follow in big data system same goes here in Kafka cluster as well and obviously you can see from this particular diagram that if we are having one single zookeeper which is taking care of the responsibility for managing and coordinating in between different Kafka servers or brokers and if this single zookeeper fails then our whole Kafka cluster might go down right. So for the safe side, in our production environment in big companies where we are using big Kafka cluster, then instead of one zookeeper, we are having multiple zookeepers who all are taking the responsibility for managing and coordinating in between different Kafka brokers and ensure that our cluster is up and running, although if one or two or certain number of zookeepers fails. Okay, so we just have to configure number of zookeepers properly to make our cluster highly available and fault tolerant okay so these kind of configurations number of zookeepers are majorly dependent on admin side we as a developer just need to understand that we might have multiple zookeepers sometime just to make our whole system more fault tolerant so that if one zookeeper goes down other can take the responsibility of managing and coordinating in between the cluster that's it okay and here to avoid the single point of failure for one single broker we are having cluster of servers or cluster of brokers and internally replication of messages goes on from one broker to another so that if one goes down the other will take the responsibility how the replication happens okay and how we can see them real time hands on all these things i am going to cover in my upcoming videos hope you understood this small theory part so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos thank you